There can be quite some cases where you would like to compare the output of stable diffusion while changing one or two parameters, like in this example where we change the number of steps on the x-axis and change the sampler on the y-axis. Well, that's why it is called an XYZ comparison. It's a script and let's see how we can use it. Here we have a script, it is in the description and it renders this image with only nine steps in Euler. But suppose I'm curious how it renders with different amount of steps and in a couple of different samplers. Well, to make such a comparison, we go down to scripts and select from a list of scripts the X, Y, Z plot. This gives us a couple of new fields where we can enter parameters for the X, Y and Z axis. Well, let's forget the Z for now. Let's do X axis and the parameters we can choose are in a long list. There's really a lot to choose from. What we like to do is change the number of steps on the X axis. So let me select steps. And I now can enter the values here. That is simply a comma separated list. There are different ways to uh, change the values. We will see that in a minute. Let's for now do the comma separated list. I like to have 9, 12, 15,20 as my steps on the x-axis. Uh, well, why not add 25 to that? And then on the y-axis, we like to have a couple of different samplers. Samplers are in this parameters list, so yes, we can use them. Oh, I already have a couple over here. Well, that is how you can select them. You can take them away with this x, and uh, you can also uh, select a few from this list. Let's do Euler, Euler A. Let's do a DPM, an SDE one that is nice for variation and also another A one that should give some variation in the output. Okay, this is our list of samplers. Let's simply click generate now and it should fully automatic create this x y image which can uh, because all the images are saved inside it it can become a rather large file size for the image almost finished and then it will show the end result the x y image and well we can click on it and then zoom out a bit so that we can see what we got and well this is the end result uh, the steps on the x-axis just like we said and the different samplers on the y-axis and this well this makes it possible to have a very fast comparison uh, in one view one blink of the eye so to speak on uh, yeah, a, a quite a lot of different situations and we'll, we can now select one that we like and then maybe go on with that specific image to improve on it. Let's have a closer look at these different ways to enter values. Uh, the separated comma list is one way to do it. Another way to give numbers is for instance type 10 to yeah, well that's a lot 10 to 15 that means it now gives me 10 11 12 13 14 15 just in a one step sequence another way to do it is uh, maybe give me 10 to 20 and then with a step of plus 2 and this plus 2 uh, means now that we get 10 12 14 and so forth you could also say give me 20 to 10 with a step of minus 2. That's just uh, a different way of plotting your results reverse. Um, and there's a third way. We could also say give me this in square brackets. Uh, give me 
three steps f between 10 and 20, which now means we will get 10, 15 and 20. These are the different ways to enter the values. An interesting uh, one in the parameters is, for instance, this um, prompt. Uh, where is it? The prompt search and replace. And that can be done as such that uh, suppose that in your prompt you have the word red or, well, let's do eye colors. Let's suppose that we have blue eyes that is in the prompt but now we can say give me also green eyes give me gray eyes give me brown eyes and then it will automatically uh, change this uh, prompt word in the prompt it's the only word it's going to change so it's going to search for blue and then replace it by green gray brown and then, of course, plot the images again. Well, there are so many parameters and there also are a couple of tick marks that you can set. The best way to do this is just uh, go ahead, do some comparisons, uh, uh, place those tick marks and see what happens. And you will quickly get the hang of it. Well, thank you for watching and maybe see you back in the next video where we will have a look at this preset manager which is a very nice and quick method to change all your settings in one go. Uh, maybe see you back there. In the meantime, have fun.